Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick 2 and we back again for another video. In today's video I will show you step by step how you bypass the Google activation screen lock if you own the TCL 50XE. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't, give me a thumbs up and without any further ado, let's find out. <music> Now just before we go any further in the video, I want to show you that I have the lock for the Google activation screen on the phone. Also, I want to pay your attention, this video made specifically for people on the phone and for whatever reason, they locked themselves, they ended up doing hard reset for the phone and they ended up with a password or pattern pin that they can unlock and they can go anymore so I'm gonna help those people for the people find the phones please they come back and please do not steal other people cell phones now I believe the steps should be very easy and very straightforward no PC is required but we are required a sim card it must be a track phone sim card straight talk Toro wireless that because this phone I purchased originally from Toro wireless so any sim card from track phone safe link family mobile Walmart service by straight talk it should work but this sim card has to have a pin lock now to make everything so easy for you, I have already made a video show you exactly how you lock the SIM card with PIN. So go watch the video, you're gonna find the link in the description and you can come back to this video to finish all the steps. Now let's go ahead and start. Now I do have PIN to verify. Now originally I don't know the PIN and that's why I made the factory set to begin with. And also they're gonna give you an option to use Google account instead. Now, also, if you forget the Google account and the password, you're not going to go any further. And the phone's going to tell you to use the previous Gmail account that was synced to the device. So instead of this, go ahead and hit back all the way. Go to the high screen. What I need from you, I'm just going to inject the SIM card that was on this phone. I'm going to just insert another SIM that has the pin lock. So we'll go ahead and do this. So I'm going to use SIM ejector tool. Remove the SIM card. This is not locked SIM, that's why it's not going to work, but I have already one uh, I've locked, so I'm just going to use, go ahead, put it back on the SIM tray, and go ahead and insert the SIM card all the way in. Now once you insert the SIM card, do not enter the same pin for the SIM card, because we don't need to unlock the SIM card. What we need, we need to inject the SIM card out from the phone. So go ahead, insert the SIM ejector tool. Now the phone's gonna turn off the screen. Go ahead, press the power key and slide down the notification bar. And you should have access to the notification bar. Go ahead and type on manage. Now you can leave the SIM card out, it's not that important. And we're gonna go ahead and show you what you need to do next. Now go ahead and click on manage app notifications and scroll all the way down, find YouTube and tap on YouTube, enable the YouTube over here. Now go all the way down and tap on additional settings on apps and then go ahead and tap on about and then go to YouTube terms and services. And that should open Chrome. So the phone's gonna ask you to add account. We want just to use without account. Just tap no thanks. And now we have access to Google Chrome. Also make sure before you go here that your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Go where you search and just type the following. Add room. Here we go. So add room. It should be the first website. Go ahead and tap on this website. And then you need the first settings you see. So go ahead and open. Now the phone went to the settings on the phone, which is great. Now what we need, we need to go to home screen lock. And then go to home app GDR. Go ahead and tap here. And then change the launcher. Use this launcher and then hit I agree and congratulations your phone has already 
bypass the Google activation screen. At this point, I highly recommend to do factory reset. And let me show you how you do it. Go ahead and go to the settings. Scroll all the way down. Go to system. And then go to reset options. And then erase all data factory reset. Erase all data and your phone will be good to go. It should take up to five minutes to complete all the factory reset. And I believe this is very easy methods to do. Now, maybe in the future, they're gonna do some updates and this method is not gonna be working, but I will try to give you update about how you do it on the DCL50XE. I wish you guys find this video helpful. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe for more here on Variety Stick 2. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we will talk to you in another video.